Hi y'all, uh, John Gets here. We are back playing Fishing Brent C. Uh, I've, this is just the second in this um, group of tutorials on this game. And we are back in Hammerfest and we're about to prepare to bait and collect or buy whatever we can to get a better uh, harvest, I guess you'd say. Uh, my name's John Kitts, did I say that already? Uh, that I am a senior gamer and playing games that I hope seniors will enjoy and maybe some younger folk might uh, enjoy as well, so hang in there. If you like what you see, press the thumbs up button and if you want to support this channel, please uh, do hit the subscribe button. So let us begin. We were told our current task is to click the fish market, which is here or here. Uh, I'm saying here is in looking at the lower right of the screen. Uh, and then select the buy bait button that appears in the top left. How much money do we have here? 69013 kroner. So let's hit them there. And those are the fish prices. Go ahead, Paul and Redfish. I guess. I just, it seems like there's more fish here than there were before. Maybe not. Maybe they just added more detail here. Okay, anyway, there's that buy bait inventory. This is my inventory. I haven't seen this before. I could buy a bigger stick. And I get bigger fish. And I, if I pay 2,000 kroner, holy crap. Uh, right now I have this one. What else can I do? I get a better knife for better gutting. Oh, I get binoculars. That's neat. How much are those? The best one's 35,000. Wow. No, the best one's 100,000. Uh, I hate to waste on the cheap ones. But we'll do it out until we can properly afford a one-shot deal on that upgrade. So let's go back to bait the long lines and does it no, that's inventory. It doesn't say what I have, does it? I have two unbaited. Or oh, I can buy some more long lines. So I have two unbaited. So bait long lines is click on the unbaited long line and bait it with shrimp. Uh, you have been given the money to pay for it for this first time. All right. We want to bait these, and we want to bait with shrimp. Crab. Alright, we're gonna bait with shrimp because that's what they want. Exit the port tutorial and, and go fishing. Okay, I'm gonna bait the next one. Let's see if they're gonna give us this money as well. Two hundred. No, we had to pay for that one. Okay, and now we're going to what? Exit the port and go fishing. Go fishing. Well, there's anything else I could do here. If I back up main menu, higher the reputation improves the prices. Increase your reputation. And uh, okay, let's look at the town one. 
Oh, I could hire somebody. Well, let's wait on that. Don't want to screw up the tutorial. Is there anything else I can do? I can do that and do that. Fish prices beating, and we've looked at all that stuff. Okay, let's go fishing. Go fishing. Uh, you need to drive outside the port areas before you can fast travel. Drive away from the dock. Drive away from the dock. Keep your hands cl clear. Okay, away we go, folks. Actually, they made the dock a little easier to get in and out of than it was before. We are at full throttle. Burning away at 5 knots, 5.1 at the moment. What time is it? It is 0 4, just after midnight. Setting tutorial, setting tutorial, setting tutorial, part 5. Open the map so you can find a good spot to set your line. Use full screen, etc., etc., or M. Uh, a mission waypoint has been set at a good fishing location on the map. Make your way to the mission location. You can use fast travel. In order to see the current fish population, you should select fish population, then all species in the top left. I guess it wasn't hot. Anyway. Yeah, it was hidden. Could be hidden. All species. Fish population. And let's zoom out. And it doesn't show heck all. Zoom out some more. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a good spot. And there's where they want us to go. Which doesn't seem to be as good as there, but that's what they want us to do, and away we go. So, uh, where are we? We are coming out of here, and let's set this to, say, here, and then let's go to, oh, I don't know, probably here, hit the fast travel. And here we are. Let's see what happens. We need to be way over there. Let's try to get a little closer. Okay, for the, the default throttle. job in the water simulation. second now they're going to pop up and tell us what they want us to do right here. Set a long line by using the set line button in the gear menu down here, I assume. Set, yeah, there. Uh, 
in the lower left corner. Set long line. Okay, let's just do it, I suppose. There we are, we're setting our long line. they changed everything. Before there was like a little thing jumped up that uh, made you keep it all in line. Now that you've set the long line you need to wait the minimum of four hours before you can pick it up. For the purposes of this tutorial the time will now the time will now be skipped. The time has now been skipped for 20 hours. Uh, 20 hours is the optimum time a long line should stay in the sea. You can see this by looking at the outline uh, color of the buoy in the, on the map. Uh, your best time to pick up the line for the best yield is when the outline is blue. See the wiki. All in the long line. heading in the wrong direction to start hauling in that long line and it's blue so first of all let's get moving we'll go a little bit this way and then swing back if I can swing right around maybe I can just swing right around probably not the best plan cow that was being hacked away like that, he probably had laws against it. Well, they do have laws against it. Not, no problem, just a fish. set a line, haven't we? No. 
We haven't. We just picked it up. So should we set a line now or follow the tutorial? Better follow the tutorial, tutorial because games tend to make you do those sorts of things or they get all screwed up. Okay, and let's go right to there. Hit the fast travel. And here we come. Okay, let's exit. Port's over there. It is fairly possible to uh, pull in the dock in the first person view. It's just that this one doesn't really allow much of a view. that again you sell your fish and you should dock at Hammerfest etc uh, da 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 from here you're on your own again we're on our own section of the logbook you can see all of the deliveries and sales that you've made at port. Note that fish should be delivered before they're eight days old otherwise they'll start rotting. Well thanks for that image. And the price you receive for them will decrease significantly. On some boats you can purchase a freezer to prevent them from rotting. Okay, we've made 14,000, so we're now up to 96.5. Exit here, and this is a job, I'm assuming. What's it going to tell us? Okay, if I click dock, uh, here you can refuel or repair your boat, buy engine, store upgrades, storage upgrades, customize, etc., etc. So I can change the name. What is my name? Does it, can I see? Does it say? Oh, it says Borg. Right there. So this is Borg. Sounds Italian to me. Maybe I am Italian. 
Okay, fuel uh, up to 42 liters at 14 kroner per liter. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Now oh, I can purchase a little bit, so if I'm having a bad day, I can just buy a bit. So, purchase the full amount, of course, and always keep gear repaired, so this is going to cost us another 72, and we'll leave the name as is. To purchase another boat, this would be the other, the next boat up. not giving us a chance to take much of a look around. Is it? What's that mean? Is it my quotas? Oh, okay. This is the Borg. Never mind. We can go for the Yazzie, which is available for purchase. Oh, wow. That's new. Looks like a Boston Sailor. That looks like it could burn. I like that. How much that cost? Cost, cost. What is it saying? Uh, 180. So I got some fishing to do. There's the next boat up from there, and I need to travel another 18 kilometers before I can get that boat. Or the shark and 118 kilometers before I can get the I don't know how to pronounce that Vibik Catherine Vibika sorry about the mumbling uh, it's I need to travel that then I can get the lunar wow okay I've never been that high before. Hermes. And that's it. Anyway, those are the boat options. These are the upgrades. That's the maintenance. So we need to go buy a rebate. We have a long line out, so we only have one left, and I've already... Yeah, I have one that's already baited, because we baited it. Okay, never mind. Uh, to fish your long line, you need to bait. Yeah, we've done this part. And we'll continue with the shrimp, if that's what they so desire. And let's back out of here. What do they got here in the town? Here you can hire a new crew. Uh, a couple of tough looking fellows. On board I don't have anybody. In the crew house I don't have anybody. I don't know what the crew house does for me. We can go to the bar, which sounds... Sometimes jobs can be completed. And in this case... Oh, that's a long way off and I haven't been there so let's uh, skip that one and what do they want us to do are we st are really on our own now we are really on our own so let's go fishing and let's go to the map which is full screen button all species scroll out I guess that looks like where we should be headed so yeah let us head for that particular spot what is there not cod not so much haddock Pollock, seems like. Okay, if I check that before, 
I would have bought beet that's specific for Hulk Pollock, but haven't been there. Now, so we got to pull out of the dock first. What was that noise? Did I just damage my hull? Okay, let's hit the map. Hitting map and hitting waypoints. Let's go to here first. And then we'll go to here. It should be okay. Let's fast travel all the way we go. gear over here in the lower right quantity of two long lines and two of them are baited. I hit sonar that's the fish we're running into but we're still alright let's come back let's scroll in let's just get a little closer Sonar again. Same picture that was there before. Alright, uh, full speed ahead and then we'll dump two lines. Okay, long line. <laughs> Didn't we go through this? Long line fishing is commercial technique commonly used. Uh, it uses a long line called the main line, main lining with uh, baited hooks attached at intervals by means of branches, branch lines called snods, snods. To deploy a long line, you need to choose the number of hooks and the type of bait you wish to use. A long line should stay in the sea for a minimum of eight hours before. The line must be picked up within 48. Long lines cannot be placed within 50 meters of other fishing gear, and will be will have to a, and will have a decreased yield if they are within 100 meters. So how do we measure that 100 meters? Uh, the color of the long line boy on the mini map uh, gives you an indication. Uh, expected results, long lines need to be baited to be used. Okay. I think this is a good time, don't you? Probably missed that sweet spot there. Another fish in sight. Okay, so these are long lines set. So, where are we as far as. No, we got ways to go yet. Uh, okay, let's just keep going and look for a sweet spot along the way. Full throttle. Gear set. Sonar.
wow. Come on. There, the fishy fishy. Some redfish. That's some kind of anomaly. should be about here. Uh, 45 meters. Does that say how long it is or how far away it is? How can I tell? What if I do that? It doesn't say how far away it is. distance away. They want us to be at least a hundred before we can make great inroads here. So that's it's not telling us how long it's been in the water. by the color, I suppose. Uh, okay, if that's 50 meters, 100's going to be taking us out. So we probably should have started there, maybe. Well, who knows. So, let's uh, fast travel over to here and see how things start to work out. Okay, that now it's telling the time. Oh, those are minutes, not meters, you moron. Okay, so damn. We don't know really. How do I know if I'm a hundred meters away? set the waypoint we won't fast travel there we'll line up to it okay 
Okay, we could have measured with these. I'm thinking. It's a little spot. Okay, if I go that, it's not telling me. Okay, we'll try. Okay, and there's the thing where we were before. So we've got to kill some time here. Second guessing, but we surely would have done better by coming over here. All right, let's uh, head back to port, and we'll see how it goes from there. Weather info: 11 degrees Celsius. chance of precipitation, cross of rain and snow at 11 degrees, not likely much snow chance here, and knots are 3 points error, wind speed 3.6 knots, visibility or cloud cover 5 ochres, and visibility at 5.5 Damned if I know what that stands for. Alright, uh, let's go back into the map. Um, they've been in so far for five hours, which was the time it took to get to here. Back there would be 10. Let's just go back there and see how much time it takes. Okay, it's been in there for eight hours. Uh, okay. It took us about, I didn't really s follow the minutes. It took three hours to get that far. It took four hours because we dropped it off at that time. Four hours from there to there, so another four to there, that's eight. Um, which puts us at 16 hours for that line. Going back out, another 16, it'd be 32. I think we 
go on the upper edge. So, all right, we've been uh, goofing around here for 40 minutes. So, what I'm going to do is put a cut in here. And maybe I'll try to clear up some of this um, uh, fog of war here. And uh, when we come back, we should be ready to pick up this line first and then that line. And, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for dropping by. Uh, if you like any of this content, please hit the thumbs up button. It gives me some indication of whether I'm connecting with anybody at all as far as the content goes and whether I should continue with this material. And if you like the content of the uh, channel in general, please hit the subscribe button. So until the next time, please do take care.